Why matter sticks around? This season we went from particles to atoms, from atoms to molecules. Now comes the bigger question, why does anything hold together at all, instead of shaking itself apart every second? In energy filament theory F, the answer is not four forces lock you in place. The answer is simpler and a bit ruthless, the energy C constantly rewrites everything, and only keeps the texture patterns that cost the least effort. What is not cheap enough gets erased. Start at the particle level. A particle is not a solid dot. It is a filament loop squeezed and closed by the energy C. It survives only when its way of wrapping, its tension, and its rhythm are the lowest effort option in that local environment. Wrap the same filament badly and you get an unstable particle, which crumples and is rewound into something else. Every property you know, like mass, charge, or spin, is just the easiest way that loop can fit into the surrounding texture. Now look at atoms. Inside the nucleus, three quark loops link with three texture bridges to form a tight little fortress. That shape is the cheapest way for those loops to share tension. Electrons do not orbit because they are tied by invisible strings. They run along paths where inward electric slopes and sideways spiral slopes are balanced. Those pads are energy levels, the least effort tracks in the local texture. Next come molecules. When two atoms bring their outer textures close, sometimes their rhythms and directions match. Along those matching directions, the energy C opens a shared corridor where electrons can move more easily than staying stuck to either atom alone. That corridor settles into a chemical bond. Molecules are not snapped together like Lego blocks. They are carved out by electrons following shared low effort paths. Now zoom out to familiar matter. Once molecules form, their textures extend outward and interlock with textures from neighboring molecules, building a larger network. No one controls this. The network simply relaxes into the pattern that, as a whole, is easiest to maintain. Rock feels hard because its network is tight and highly connected. Disturb one part and many pads resist. Rubber is springy because the network can be stretched into slightly worse patterns and then snap back to the best one. Liquids flow because their network is loose, with many sliding roots. Air feels light because connections are rare and molecules are arranged more by rhythm than rigid links. From particles to materials, the rule never changes. Whenever the energy C can find a smoother, cheaper texture arrangement, it nudges reality in that direction. Tap follow, share it on new physics, clear universe.